Hi there, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be looking at my um, PY15 paints, watercolour paints. Um, I first come across this in my Winsor & Newton set and uh, it's called Trans Winsor & Newton Transparent Yellow PY15 Pigment. I love it. It's probably my favourite yellow um, and I've used it a lot. And so I've actually increased the collection with some other brands. Um, the first two I'm going to, sorry, the first three are the Sennelier, the Windsor & Newton and Core. And they're all pure PY150. And then the last two are Core's Quinacridone Gold, which is a double pigment. And Windsor & Newton's New Gamboge, which is an also a double pigment. Um, so the first one I'm actually swatching there is the Sennelier um, Yellow Lake PUI150. And this is a really new one to me. I haven't actually used it that much. So I'm quite interested to compare it to the others. Um, what I've gone in there is putting quite a deep, like a uh, really pigmented um, swatch first. And then I've just add some water just to spread that pigment down so I can see what it looks like as it gets lighter and lighter um, and also how it kind of flows on the paper um, on my first thoughts on that is that yeah, it spreads lovely it's very even to spread um, funny enough the pan because it was a, 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 a pan paint was actually quite difficult to re-wet which was interesting um, so the next one, sorry, is the Windsor & Newton. I'm doing the same thing here, and that's the Transparent Yellow PY150. Although I do feel the spread doesn't spread as evenly as the Sennelier, which I thought was interesting. That's something that doesn't bother me. But if, if it's something that bothers you, you know, just to let you know, I felt that it didn't spread as evenly. But again, that was the first one that I come across, and I love it. So then the next one is Kors Nickel, Nickel Azo Yellow PY150. Now, I, I've, I haven't used this enough to be able to really say whether I like or dislike it. I put it in videos and I'm like, oh, I'm not that fussed on that because it looks a little bit dirty to me. Um, however... The truth is, I've not. Re I've only used it a few times. Um, but I really need to get used to using it because next to these other two, um, next to the Windsor and Newton and the Snellier, I actually quite like it. So it might be just a case of me having to get used to it. So the next one we're going for now. This isn't a single pigment, and it's not one of the. Nickel Azul Yellow, Transparent Yellow. It's actually Cause Quinequidone Gold, and that's PY150 and P048. Um, this isn't a paint paint I've used that much. Um, if I was going to mix this type of colour, I would literally just use the Nickel Azul Yellow and maybe put in a little bit of um, Burnt Sienna, you know, um, and that way I've got more control over what. I don't know if it's the hue you would call it. Um, that's what I would personally do. Um, but I still I, I still quite like it. It's still quite pretty. Um, so this one then is the Windsor & Newton's New Gamboge. Which is actually another colour that I really do like. But the, similar to the core Crenacridone Gold. Now, as a more experienced painter, I actually would just add um a, a warm a, a little bit of a warm or burnt red to get that effect um so as a more experienced painter i wouldn't actually do that so i wouldn't actually use it as much sorry so now we're going on to the glazing and now this was interesting and before anyone says anything i found this didn't glaze on the first the Sennelier didn't glaze on that first cross very well now, it was the first swatch that I did, and I dried everything with a hairdryer before doing this, and I dried it for a good couple of minutes. So I'm, okay, I, it, the paper may have been a bit damp, but I feel like it's unlikely that it would be. I mean, the Windsor & Newton one now is right next to it, 
and I'm literally just done the same thing and it glazed better. So I'm not quite sure whether, you know, you can do these things and when, you know, I'm not, I'm not a scientist working in a lab at the end of the day. There's lots of variables, there's lots of things that could go wrong. The paper may not be in as dry as the others. I suspect that it was um, only because I knew how long I dried it for. But that Sennelier definitely didn't glaze as well on that first test, which I found interesting because they're known for glazing. But having said that, both the core and the Windsor and Newton and, and actually the bottom bit of the Sennelier that I did, did glaze well. So maybe it was just slightly damp. It may only need to be slightly damp for the glazing to not work as well. Um, but anyway... All the others did glaze well, as you can see, and I will let them dry. So they've dried now. We've come back now to have a look at um, what the results are. And interestingly, the um, Sennelier, like I said earlier, although it has glazed, it definitely feels like it hasn't glazed as well as it should have. It could be something I did. Like I said, I'm not a scientist in a lab. I'm at home in my house. I'm not even a professional artist. It could be something I did. However, the Windsor and Newton and the core, I think, for me, Windsor and Newton glaze just as well as Sennelier. They, they, for me, they're a dream to paint with. Um, core, I've had issues with glazing in the past, but it seems to have done really well. Um, I do feel that the Sennelier in um, pigmentation, I wonder if that's a word, um is in the middle between so i've got the core and the water in uh, winter and newton on both opposite ends of the spectrum and then we've got sennelier in the middle i do like it i do need to get used to using both the uh, nickel azo yellow by core and the yellow lake by sennelier because at the moment i'm just comparing it to the winter and newton because that's the one i use the most so now we're just looking at the um the uh the the two that are not um Sorry, there are not the either uh, single pigments. Um, both of them have dried really well. Again, they could to me they're convenience mixes. Um, which now as a more experienced painter, I mean they have their place, and I'm sure I will use them. Um, but as as a, just as an if I'm purchasing stuff now, I would prefer just to purchase similar separate paints because they can be used for other things and for multiple reasons but they still both glaze really well and I still enjoy doing the swatches and the results the new gamboge is very close as you can see to the um to the single pigments so there's only slightly I think there's only if there was a ratio I would say is only a smart small amount of the of the red of the PR 209 in there where the quinacridone Gold looks like there's a lot of that orange texture in there. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please, please, please like, subscribe. Maybe leave a comment of your own opinions. Maybe there's another brand that you love that have this that have this pigment that you absolutely love. Please let me know because I'm always interested in hearing other people's points of views and stuff. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.